Good morning, everybody. It's Shelby Frasithia, and today I want to tell you that you are not crazy. Um, today I want to talk to you about self-love during the grief process. Um, so through the course of this video, if there's any emotions or feelings that you're feeling, uh, comment below and let me know uh, one or two feelings that grief brings up in you. Um, these can be emotions that scare you, things that you've never felt before, or things that you're used to feeling, uh, but are now feeling in a different way because grief has that uh, effect on us. Um, so if you've seen my other videos, you know that we're afraid of grief because it presents us with new experiences. And one of the hardest things to realize through the process of grieving um, is that you are not crazy. Nothing is wrong with you and anything that you're feeling or thinking or wishing for is 100% normal. Um, there's a term called validation that coaches like to use with their clients, uh, which is basically a reassurance that feelings and emotions and any actions taken on those feelings or emotions uh, are okay. Um, and that is the gift I want to give you today. So everything that you are feeling is completely 100% normal. Um, by telling you that everything you're feeling is 100% normal, acceptable, okay, um, and not crazy, that gives you space and permission to stop fighting the belief that you should be, should be uh, acting or feeling or experiencing life in a different way. Um, the thing, one of the things that was hardest for me about my own grief experience is that the process of grieving takes a lot of energy from us already. Um, it's what some people like to call an energy vampire, where it just like sucks and sucks and sucks energy from us and never really gives anything back. Um, so it, it calls our energy and attention and focus to whatever we lost, whether that was a person, whether you're going through a divorce, whether that was a, um, a pet, uh, a job, a health situation. Um, but we can spend even more energy hating grief or hating the grief process or wishing that we weren't going through it or uh, resenting the fact that we're grieving at all. So long story short, that's really, really unfair for grief to take energy from us already and then for us to continue to let it take energy by hating the process. Um, so if you're fighting your grief, if you're hating it, uh, if you're spending energy on resenting grief, um, in addition to experiencing grief, this is my message for you today. Everything you are feeling is normal and 100% okay. You are okay wherever you are and you can stop hating yourself for grieving and going through this process and just grieve. Just let go and grieve. It's, it is taking enough from you already. Um, recovering from grief is about letting emotions and feelings be what they are, even if they're new to us. Um, so if you're feeling guilt or shame or sadness or irritation or exhaustion or fear, uh, you're grieving. Um, but if you're feeling guilt and shame and irritation and sadness and exhaustion and fear about the fact that you're grieving, you are punishing yourself for experiencing a series of normal human emotions. Save your energy. Save yourself. That, man, that's... Life is hard enough as it is without us punishing ourselves for experiencing something that all of us will go through before we die. Grief ultimately teaches us that we don't need to spend our days hating grieving in addition to actually going through it. We can just go through it, and that's hard enough as it is. Um, but we don't have to hate the process of going through it as well. Um, I'm here today to tell you that you are doing it right. Whatever you're doing, you are doing it right. Wherever you are in your grief journey, you are in the perfect place. And there is nothing wrong with how you were grieving. There's nothing wrong with what you were grieving, and there's nothing wrong with why you are grieving. 
especially this time of year and all throughout the year, please do not hate yourself for grieving in a certain way. Um, you can do this and know this by hearing three things uh, that I outlined for you today. I like to work in trinities for some reason. Um, but the first thing that you need to know, and this is from the grief recovery method, is that grieving is perfectly normal and natural. It is a human process and it is a collection of emotions. Um, the second thing, and this is related also from the grief recovery method, is that grief is not just being sad uh, immediately following a loss, but it's a variety of feelings that's related to the end in or the change in uh, a certain pattern or a certain um, thing that you've known to be true for a while. So uh, any life change, so a, a health situation, a loss of a career, uh, divorce, death, of course, is a, is a big one of a, a person, um, which can include children, uh, also pets, things like that, uh, anything you have an emotional connection to. So um, grief is not just being sad, but it's this collection of emotions like um, nostalgia, worry, longing, depression, uh, relief is one that comes up, uh, anger comes up a lot. Um, and so grief is a collection of emotions. So the first one you have to remember is that grief is perfectly normal and natural. The second one is that grief is not just sadness, but it's a collection of uh, emotions that can be all over the place. Um, the third thing that you want to remember is that everyone's grief presents itself differently. And this is applicable to you, but it's also applicable to other people as you're seeing them walk through their lives. Um, because each of us is a different person, which is one factor, but then uh, we also have different relationships with the things that we lost. So, for example, um, my friend and I could both be mourning the fact that we lost jobs uh, within the past year, but our feelings about it will depend on a million different things. So, um, how long do we worked there, how much we love the work, whether or not we liked the people we worked with, if we had other work lined up following it, uh, if we identified with the work, if it was part of who we are. Um, if we were fired or let go or if we quit or resigned, um, the list goes on and on. And all of these things um, play into relationships with other people as well. So if you're mourning the same person who died this year, it could be you and a sibling. It could be you and a parent who lost the same person. Um, you could have, your whole family could have lost a dog this year. But, um, but who in the family was allergic? Who was alive when you actually got the dog? Um, all, of these, all of these factors will affect how you grieve. And so giving people permission and validation to grieve in their own way is very, very important. So know these three things and hear these three things. That grieving is perfectly normal and understandable. Grief is not just being sad, but it's a variety of emotions that you will experience. And everyone's grief will present itself differently. So when you allow grief to just be what it is for you, instead of wishing it looked like or felt like something else or something different you are on your way to grief recovery and you can give people the gift of knowing that grief is normal and natural and acceptable as well however it expresses itself for them so accepting and seeing yourself and your experience as normal and okay and perfect is love which ties back to the self-love that i had mentioned at the beginning of this live um, cast and that is a massive massive gift to yourself um, in the words of one of my favorite coaches uh, her name is Lilia Christine she's the happiness advocate uh, it's mercy the ability to choose love and compassion when we have the option to inflict pain or misery and that applies to other people but it, it also applies to ourselves um, so as the holidays start to roll in, tomorrow's Thanksgiving, and then we have a whole series of holidays after that, show yourself some mercy, some self-love, and some compassion this year um, by knowing and trusting and believing that wherever you are on your grief journey is 100% normal and natural, and that your feelings, the collection of them, is normal, and that your thoughts are normal. And take the energy that you're using hating the grief process or hating yourself for grieving at all and use it to rest, uh, use it to heal, use it to recover, um, use it to feel your way through this process instead of resisting it. And, and ultimately, and this is one of my favorite phrases, use that energy to call you home because that's what grief does for us. Um, it's... It's one of the hardest journeys that we will ever take as humans because it's not, it's, 
it's not as easy as love. It's not as, uh, it's not as pleasant. Um, but ultimately it is a lesson in asking us to love again and asking us to experience ourselves in different ways and to just, to just be who we are and let that be okay with us. So use the energy that you're spending on hating grief and whatever it means to you, use that energy to call you home. So if you're looking for a way to kind of put the brakes on the mental spinning that can come with grief or a good first step in uh, pausing the mind chatter that accompanies all these emotions. Um, I have a free eight minute meditation called Breathing Room for the Brain and the link is in the description. Uh, I also have another one if you're concerned about how to deal with with family this year or friends who are going to be talking politics who are going to be talking current events who are going to be talking about the loved one that you lost uh, in a myriad of different ways because everybody experiences grief differently. I also have an e-course that's online for uh, a little over the the price of a, a nice dinner out. It's $37. It's called How to Be Present with Others' Pain. And this is actually a tool that I use um, every time I interact with a client, even when I interact with friends or, or family members who I know will bring up certain emotions in me as well. And it just kind of puts a space uh, between me and them and gives gives pain and gives grief a place to go other than kind of washing onto me. And that, that helps you uh, reserve your energy and save your energy as well. Um, as always, thank you so much for sharing space with me this morning. I am sending all of my love and all of my restful energy and self-loving energy and merciful energy to you this morning, tomorrow for Thanksgiving, and then to the rest of the holidays and beyond. I'll see you next week.